Barnabas Health. Life is better healthy. Hi, I'm Michelle Blackwood. I'm a breast cancer surgeon here at Barnabas Health. I'm also the director of breast health and disease management. So it was always thought that the genetics that we know about, BRCA1 and BRCA2, are the two mutations that we know about that some women carry. And this can account for about 5% of breast cancers, only 5%. So the thought was that about 95% of breast cancers occur without any true cause that we can find genetically. We are finding more and more genetic mutations that seem to contribute to the formation of breast cancer. There are more genetic panels and blood tests that are available that seem to confer an increased risk of breast cancer. So patients of ours that have been tested for BRCA1 or BRCA2 years ago that were negative, we're now testing them for these other panels of genes and we're finding that they're positive. And the other genes that, for example, that are available that may have as high a risk for breast cancer are something like PALB2, CHECK2, BRIP1. There's multiple ones. Right now we know of about 20 other gene mutations. So all of these gene mutations may contribute to the increased risk of breast cancer in some of these patients. So now that we're finding these gene mutations, perhaps we're going to really drill down and be able to advise patients better about their true risk of breast cancer. Recently, I had a patient who came in who'd had a melanoma in the past, and now she had an early stage breast cancer. She didn't really think she had a family history of breast cancer. She went back to her mother, and her mother did reveal that there was quite a family history of cancer. In the meantime, we had had her blood tested for a gene mutation. She came back positive for one of the gene mutations. So we changed her operation from a lumpectomy to a mastectomy bilaterally, meaning both sides. Interestingly enough, she has children who are now adults. And those children came to see me, and lo and behold, all three of them have the gene mutation. But the good news is, we're now going to monitor them and make sure that they don't develop cancer. Barnabas Health. Life is better healthy.